Science Coalition is a group of 50 U.S. research intensive universities that work in partnership with the universities to ensure that the federal investment in science that is so critical for economic growth, innovation, and global competitiveness. How do we build for the future? And what is the role of universities, and particular research intensive universities, in helping secure a better economic future for all of us? It wasn't all that long ago that industry drove a lot of the basic research in this country. And as that shifted and the universities then really stepped forward, the connections between the university community and the corporate community uh, widened. We've done a num number of things that are intended to couple the deep research capability that's at American research universities to the private sector. What companies want um, is a relationship that involves student transfer as much as anything else. Uh, when we um, create these master agreements, they're around intellectual property and so on, but always a part of it is how students will be engaged. From the beginning, the core missions of universities have always really focused on job creation and on economic growth. Both Brown and the University of Rhode Island and many different groups there have been very concerned about what they could do to help build the economy and get it back on its feet and do positive things. When we look at how our students contribute to the economy, an important measure of that is the students that come out of our School of Engineering. More than 1,500 students graduate from there each year and they take good jobs within the state of California and also around the country. The private sector now realizes that the relationship with universities have to become stronger. I know at Northeastern, we are very mindful of the fact that 85% of our research dollars comes from the federal government. And as we try and build relations with, with industry, we're really looking for the kind of problems that naturally lend itself to basic research at the front end but can have a translational or an applied part to it. <laughs> I think that's part of why the federal government and others have recognized that we need to be doing things differently now, and that's why you see these large innovation hubs, you see the translational research centers coming out of the NIH and, and other areas, that some of these really big problems can't be solved by small groups by themselves. There's something that happens when we put entrepreneurs together with scientists, and that is this spark jumps to the scientists, not necessarily to move in an entrepreneurial direction, but just to think a new thought. When it really comes down to it, the kind of re research that's going to make the unexpected breakthroughs needs a guardian angel. And the only one we have lives in Washington. The moral of the story is, is that there is simply no substitute for the type, the quality, and the scale of federal funding. It is the key to the innovative engine of this country.